Twelve years ago, Frank rolled $21,000 from a retirement allowance into an RRSP. That RRSP earned 11% compounded semi-annually. Suppose that three years ago he transfers the funds into an RRIF, and then since then he's going to be withdrawing $2,500 at the end of every quarter. If our RRIF earns 7.5% compounded quarterly, how much longer can the withdrawals continue? In the first part of this question, let's try to determine the future value that's going to be in his RRSP account after 12 years. Let's take that 21,000 multiplied by 1 plus i. Here i is 11% compounded semi-annual. And if we go through a term of 12 years with semi-annual compounds, n should be equal to 24. Simplifying this expression, we get $75,906.39. Next, let's try to determine the term of our RRIF. We know that he's been withdrawing payments of 2,500. We know that our future value of the RRIF will eventually dwindle down to zero dollars. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert the value that we found in part one into our present value. But we do have to enter this as a negative since we need to buy this annuity. We know that the interest rate for our RRIF is 7.5 compounded quarterly the payments are also happening at the end of every quarter. So our goal here is going to be to solve for n. I'm going to begin by programming our 7.5 in for i. Going into the submenu, I need to program both py and cy to be 4. Then we can move into the present value. So let's put our 75906.39. That's going to be negative in for pv. We have our payments of 2500 coming out. And let's take our future value to be zero. Going and computing a value for n, we get about 45.3. And so to finish off this question, what we need to do is we need to round up our value for n. We're going to round this up to 46 of our equal sized payments. And so the question now is if we've made 46 of these equal sized payments, how long is the term of this RRIF? So we know n is equal to 46. We're going to be trying to solve for t here. And the frequency of our payments is equal to 4. So if we take 46 and divide by 4, we should be able to solve for t. And that gives t is equal to 11.5. And if we scroll back to the premise of the question here, it says three years ago he's transferred the funds and he's since been withdrawing these $2,500 payments at the end of the quarter. So what we would like to do is we would like to subtract three years from our 11.5. That's going to take us down to having 8.5 years remaining.